Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over how to connect Eero to Frontier Router. Now to do this you need to use the provided Ethernet cable to connect, you know, the Eero gateway device to one of the Ethernet ports on your Frontier network and you just follow the apps on screen instructions. So let me give you a more detailed breakdown. So what you need is a Eero device. Make sure you have the Eero gateway device. This is basically the main router and the provided Ethernet cable. Okay, you need the Frontier router. You can uh, locate this and identify its Ethernet ports. And of course, you need to download and open up the Eero app on your mobile device. So first, this is what you do, okay? You plug one end of the Ethernet cable into one of the Ethernet ports on your Frontier router and the other end into an Ethernet port on the back of your Eero gateway device, basically the main Eero router. Okay, then you just go ahead and plug the Eero gateway device into a power outlet. Okay, so we have connected both with Ethernet cable and we have powered it on. And now this is how we set up in the Eero app, okay? So if you don't have an account yet, just go ahead and create an Eero account or you can sign in with your Amazon account, right? And then just follow the apps on screen instructions. So the app will guide you through the setup process, you know, including creating your network name, your password, and, you know, if you have an additional Eero devices, you can add them to your network within the app. And once the network is set up, you can connect your devices to the Eero network via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Now, some important considerations that you can go ahead and take in. So if you go ahead and connect, you know, Eero to a Frontier router, and this can result in a double NAT configuration, which might affect some advanced network fig features or, or gaming performance. And if you want to use the Frontier router solely as a modem, you can put it into bridge mode, which will allow the Eero to handle all routing functions. But otherwise, it's really that easy and simple. So I hope this guide provided value to you. And if it did, consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to Frequently Asked Questions. And I'll see you in the next one.